what is good youtube watch you here with a video on the justice league movie so you can tell from the title and thumbnail that we're going to be talking about dark side and superman within the justice league movie and we're also going to be going over the new details that tells us that the justice league final trailer will be coming early potentially based on new news so we here came across this image of dark side and superman which to me looks very real but at the same time it might not be real but i'm going to take it that it actually is real based on the following findings dark side was teased in batman vs superman dawn adjusted justice nightmare scene when we seen the future we see nightmare batman looking over and we've seen a different future with the omega sign which is basically told every dc fanboy around the world dark side is coming dark side was rumored to be appearing in the movie until the recent joss whedon reshoots that guys didn't really change a lot you cannot change much in the movie in 12 weeks so supposedly dark side was supposed to show up at the end and kill steppenwolf because he failed his master obviously being dark side but they want to make steppenwolf more of an antagonistic villain and dark side would just be like his master who we don't really see but we could see it at the end of the day inside this movie there isn't really multiple just see movies at the moment there's only just to see one and just see two this isn't the mcu whereas thanos showed up in the first guardian of the galaxy movie obviously being, being gamora's dad etc and we haven't seen him since he's been on his little seat pedestal for so long although he was referenced with gamora in garden of the galaxy 2 when they were talking about thanos and the things that thanos did to her i think at least if i remember correctly and i really hope we don't get a 10-year build-up in the dc extended universe because if that happens people are going to compare thanos and dark side being the same villain when really if you know anything about comic books and you look them up they're not really alike so i'd rather that we get a tease tease him at the end let us see him and then just to see two dark side is the main villain so then we can move on to, i don't know it's like anti-monitor crime syndicate or anything like that and just get the dark side over as the main villain because he's not the strongest dceu kind of dc person dc villain in the whole dc universe as everyone knows and also dark side everyone knows he's coming so why not show him in the first flagship dc movie so just for fun guys who'd win in the fight out of dark side of thanos no mother box no anti-life equation no infinity gem no infinity gauntlet who'd win in a straight up fight let me know down below and i might make a bonus video about that so last night in america somewhere i think at least i don't know where it was um the final trailer was showed by the messiah jeff johns the head of dc the head of dceu the oracle he gave a presentation at the national association of theater for the punchline guys cinema owners not press not media not people that work for one of us why this is good right is because these cinema owners have respect they carry themselves in such a manner that they haven't leaked anything they haven't said oh my god batmannews.com you can never guess what happened this but you can't actually give a real source so it's pretty cool guys they haven't said anything although chris did tweet he just tweeted that they showed a trailer and that's it you're not going to get any juicy information out of them so this pretty much confirms that there will be a final justice league trailer next week i believe it will be for the blade runner movie comes out which i think it comes out on wednesday thursday ish um thursday is the first day of new york comic-con so i believe they're going to drop it before that as it is a warner weather property and then you've got some people going oh but they've not started advertising justice league yet yes that's because if you know anything about the movie world you would know why would warner brothers start to advertise justice league before another property they're working on blade runner comes out so we've still got roughly five, six weeks before Justice League. So they're going to start to vamp up promotion massively after Blade Runner comes out, which does make sense. Cast members have been talking about their roles within the Justice League already. They've had covers. A cover, cover in Italy is actually advertising the Justice League currently. They're on the front cover. But I do feel sorry for Henry Cavill, Superman, because obviously he's dead. Everyone that knows Justice League watch batman versus superman you know your batman superman history even you know he's not dead so i feel sorry for him because he's going to miss out on all these interviews all these tv covers 
and everything. I mean, would he even show up to Justice League's premiere because he's supposed to be dead? I mean, I think it'd be a bit weird if he doesn't. But everyone knows he's Superman. I find it quite funny that some people don't actually think that he's alive. And they're taking it to heart. They actually think he's dead, which is pretty cool. So what, they're, they're market employees, they're not actually advertising at all. Although they have made some toys of him so guys let me know in the comment box down below do you think the first image is real because if you look at it fan <laughs> thanos thanos and dark side do that similar dark side looks og he looks legit but the superman on the floor is questionable he looks nothing like henry cavell but if it is a stunt double they just have someone that looks similar from behind and cgi's face in so it still could be real now i know some people are going to go clickbait clickbait this is a fake image but let's be honest guys it does look like apocalypse the dark side image does look very side to the comic book version of him and it does look it's, it's not an injustice one it's not an injustice two it's not a video game I don't know if someone did make this up, if someone did draw this image, put the guy, the guy's name in it and I'll, I would credit the guy in the, the link in the description box down below. But guys, it can't be, it can't be made up. Look at it. It just looks so legit. So guys, do you think this is a real image of Darkseid? Do you think we're going to see Darkseid? When do you think the trailer is going to drop? I believe it's going to drop on Wednesday or Thursday next week, which I believe is the 5th of October. And what do you think is going to be in the final trailer? Everyone's saying that it's Joss Whedon's final cut. It's Joss Whedon's first trailer. Guys, it's a Zack Snyder movie. Why? Because you can only have one director credited on a movie. So it's still going to say directed by the, uh, the boss, the boss man, the Oracle, the best director there is when it comes to comic book movies. Zack Snyder. Yes, I do like Marvel as well. I know some people say I'm a Marvel fanboy. No, they don't actually. They say I'm a DC fanboy, but I do Marvel videos as well, so it doesn't really make sense to me. Anyway, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment if you wanted that. It help the channel grow massively, and it would be awesome. If you've got any videos, ideas that you want me to do, just drop them down below. That would be cool. And if you want to join the notification squad, just hit that button down below so you never miss a video. And why would you miss a video? I do Flash Arrow, like DCU, Justice League mcu infinity war thor have not kind of movies all that kind of stuff so it's basically a comic book kind of channel and we will catch you in another video guys very soon catch you later